Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be sharing my experience of dressing my petite body and also share some tips that I've learned over the years. I'm 5'3 and a rectangle straight body type for reference. So this video is not going to be about how to look taller, it's going to be more about how to embrace your petite body and dress in a way that feels balanced, which is what I like to do. I actually really enjoy being short and that's not something that I want to change about myself, so this video is definitely not going to be about looking taller. So this is a funny story, but I actually didn't even realize I was petite until like 4 or 5 years ago. I always knew that I was short, but all the clothes that were for petites were like in the Ann Taylor stores and they seemed like they were more for older women that were more professional looking. In all the places where I used to shop, they didn't have petite sections, so I was always really frustrated that my pants were too long and I thought that that's just something that I had to deal with my whole life just because I was short. Maybe you can relate to some of these struggles, so let's just get right into the video and talk about what I've learned over the years. So the first thing that I figured out works well for my petite body is ankle length and cropped jeans and pants. As I mentioned already, I used to just buy whatever jeans I would find and they were always too long for my legs. And as you can see in this first outfit, these jeans that I'm starting with are just too long for my body. I think it kind of cuts my ankle off at an unflattering point and kind of just makes my legs look a little bit stubby and short. For some people this might look nice still and that's okay if that's your personal preference, but for me I think it makes it look like I have no ankles and it just kind of has an unbalanced look. So here I am in some ankle length jeans. I think this looks so much better already because you can see a little bit of my ankle and it just looks a little bit more flattering on my legs. My first encounter with ankle length jeans was actually from Everlane. If you guys didn't know, for all of their jeans you can pick regular ankle length or even tall, which I think is really great because then you can really tailor your pants to your size. Now I know that there's a lot of other brands that offer this as well, which is super cool. So you can find jeans like this at Madewell, J. Crew, or even like Old Navy, where you can pick, you know, petite or tall or regular. I think that's a super cool tip to know. So if you are short and have never tried ankle or petite length before, I highly recommend it. It's really great. So this can go even further into crop length jeans, which is a trend I think is super cool right now for us short girls. Um, especially things like a raw hem, where you can cut it yourself at the length that you want it to be. Here's a pair of crop jeans that I have, and I think it looks really great on me. I think it looks even better than the ankle length jean. Especially if you go for a straight leg fit, because it kind of gives you a little bit of breathing room around your ankle, and I think that looks really balanced and flattering. So moving on to my next discovery, which was high-rise jeans. Here I am starting off with some mid-rise jeans, which are just not my personal preference. I think that they make my upper body just look a little bit too long. And when I tuck my shirt in especially, I like to tuck it all the way around. And I usually like for my jeans to end at my smallest part of my waist, just so it looks the most flattering on me. And when I tuck them in at a mid-rise, it just looks off because that's not my smallest part of my waist. Again, that's just a personal preference for my body because I am a rectangle shape and I don't have a lot of waist definition. So here I am wearing a high-rise jean instead and I think that looks a lot more better for me because then my pants nip in at the waist at the right place and it just looks a lot more balanced and I prefer it like this. Now since I am short, I do try to make sure my high-rise jeans are not too high because I think then it can have a look of being just like all legs and that can look a little bit odd too. I have an average length torso which means that my torso and my legs are kind of the same length. If you have a shorter torso, then a mid-rise could look really nice on you. And if you have a longer torso, you can experiment with some super high-rise jeans and see if that works for you. Again, it all depends on your body and your personal preference. So the next thing that I learned that looks good on my petite body is tucking in my top. If I just leave my shirt untucked, I think it looks just a little bit too long and makes my top part of my body look too long. I think I could totally rock this look on like a casual relaxed day and it could still look nice, but if I just tuck in my shirt a little bit in the front, I think it looks much better already because you can just see like the different parts of my body and it just looks a lot more balanced to the eye. Since I'm short, I feel like clothes can sometimes swallow me up if they're a little bit too long, so this looks much better for me. 
Another thing that I like to do is wear crop tops instead of tucking in my top. I think these look really nice on a petite body. And my personal preference is for them to be a little bit boxy and oversized because then they're not clinging to my body and it just feels really loose and casual and comfortable but still kind of modern because it's a crop top. So next up, let's talk about skirts and dresses. So I used to wear a lot of dresses that would end at my knee and I never really knew why I didn't like how it looked. As you can see, it really cuts off my body at an odd place and kind of makes my legs look even shorter than they are. So this dress actually comes with adjustable straps, so I usually wear it a little bit higher. But just to show you guys an example, I just made it as long as possible here. So instead, I like to wear dresses that end right above my knee. I think that looks so much better. I personally don't like mini skirts, but I think this above the knee length is just perfect. I think when you can see how my legs kind of curve at the knees, it just makes the whole outfit flow much better and it just kind of has like room to breathe and I think that looks really nice. And by the way, if you watched my video on my summer wish list, I did finally get this beautiful linen dress from Linen Fox and I love it and it really feels like me. So this next example is kind of an interesting one because I do actually like and wear both of these items, but I know that one looks just a little bit better on my body. So here's a cardigan that I have and I really love it. I got it second hand and it's 100% wool, super cozy in the winter, but it is just a little bit too long for me. Ideally I would want my cardigans and jackets to end right above my knee because I think that looks a little bit better on a petite body. Just like the dress before, I think it feels kind of heavy. And when I say heavy, I mean like almost looks like gravity is just dragging my body down to the ground and it's just kind of like a weighted look on my body. Now I want to wear this other cardigan that ends above my knee. I think it just makes the whole outfit just feel suddenly so much lighter. Somehow when you can just see the bend of my knees, it just makes like the whole outfit look lighter and balanced and flowy and I just really love that. So again, I do love and wear both of these cardigans but I think the one above the knee just looks a little bit more flattering to the petite body. And I think that's an important thing to note here that we don't have to look balanced and flattering all the time. Sometimes we just want to wear what we wear and it doesn't matter how the outfit looks to other people at all. If we feel good in what we're wearing, then that's really all that matters. But if you have been struggling with dressing your petite body and just didn't know why some items fell off, then I hope that this video was helpful to you and that you learned some new tips from here. And if you're also petite like me, then you can follow along and subscribe to my channel because I make a lot of different styling content on there and I hope that you can find some inspiration there. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon.